Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So this short video is all about how you can prepare for your next data engineering interview. So here we are going to go over some of the tips and the strategies to really shine in front of the recruiters. So whether you are preparing for your first interview or if you have an experience or else you are just here for the knowledge. This video will equip you with different tips and strategies to succeed. So without further any ado, let's get into it. So the first major thing you should learn is what is the role of a data engineer. So basically data engineers are the data architects of every data driven organization. So they're responsible for designing, building as well as maintaining the complex data pipelines which converts a raw or unprocessed data into some valuable insights. So knowing your role is very crucial to get success for your next data engineering interview. So the next thing will be like your resume. So your resume and portfolio will be your first impression. So that will be the place where you can shine in front of the recruiters and increase your chances to get screened in for some of the biggest tech companies in the world today. So you have to mention all the technologies, the relevant projects as well as the experience and you have to be truthful in your resume. So if you have some past experience, you can add and describe your relevant projects in the data engineering field or else if you are just getting started, you can also showcase your personal projects and also give it a link of GitHub repository in the resume so that the interviewer can go ahead and see your work without any issues. And the next thing will be like data engineering is quite a technical role. So you have to start with the basic ones like you have to review your SQL skills, Python or Java, whatever language you're using, as well as you have to clean your concepts of ETL processes, data warehousing concepts, because many big tech companies will ask you the basic knowledge. And that is the weak spot of every data engineer out there. So you have to brush up your basics and also I forgot about the big data technology. So you also have to prepare for like Hadoop, Apache Spark. So that are like the base of every data engineer. And also if you are up for a big tech company, their behavioral questions will also matter. So you have to like prepare the anecdote that will demonstrate your teamwork capability as well as like your problem solving ability. So you have to think about the star method, which is really popular in this behavioral question. So which is consist of a situation, then the task, the action, as well as the result. So that method will really help you to succeed at the behavioral questions. Also, you should be having like a latest industry knowledge. So you should know about like the data privacy, the new cloud technologies in the market and what technologies are replacing the conventional methods. So since you already know that Kubernetes, Docker are taking the tech world and the data engineering world by storm. So you have to have a clear idea about what are the new trends in the market today because many companies will adapt to these new changes very rapidly and if you are up for that company then you should be having the knowledge of that it should you should not be limited to whatever you are doing in your current project so for that purpose you should subscribe for a blog to stay updated read some new articles as well as the research papers to get a relevant knowledge about the industry so if you are preparing for an interview you should also prepare for a mock interview so you can work with your friends or peers and gain some knowledge from them as well and do collaboration with them and do some mock interviews as well as they should be knowing some things that you don't know. So you can exchange the knowledge as well, which will boost your confidence and also increase the chances of getting your dream job. And also in the interview, you should also ask the question to the interviewer. So you can ask like what are the challenges, the team dynamics, as well as some questions, some thoughtful questions about the job role as well as the responsibility and like companies data infrastructure, what technologies they are bringing in and bringing out. So those questions will really make you a great impression in the interview and also on the big day, which is like the interview day. So on that day, you should dress professionally, also arrive early. And if you are having like a virtual interview, then your tech setup would be flawless. So you should be having a good 
microphone as well as the camera quality and the great bandwidth so that there will not be any issues in your technical interview and also many interviewers will ask you to share your screen and also write some code in the editor so you should also prepare for that as well so you should be having the required tools and setup in your system so that it will not waste your time in the interview so we talk about everything the technical stuff the resume blah blah but the mindset is everything so believe in your skills as well as the experience so you should be having the confidence that will make the difference in how you present yourself so you should be confident in your skills as well as your career and also once the interview is completed you can do a follow up email by thanking them like it shows the appreciation and the professionalism so that is also a very important part so in conclusion data engineering interviews can be really difficult but with the right mindset as well as the preparation you can definitely succeed in your next interview but you have to remember one thing clearly interviews are not just about showcasing your skills it's about like finding the right fit for your career path so if any job description is not suitable for you you should definitely avoid that job role as well as not attend the interview because that will waste your time as well as the interviewer's time so you have to make sure that you are a perfect fit for that job description and the job role so i hope you found this video helpful so please give it a subscribe and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates thanks for watching